What's up, Madden community? This is Mutt Geek back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to do my core elite predictions for quarterbacks and running backs. We're going to do our top 10 here, and I did the wide receivers and tight ends yesterday. We took a look at the regs ratings for the top 10 of each of those positions, and we're going to take a look at those today as well for quarterbacks and running backs to see how they could potentially correlate into core elite cards for Madden Ultimate Team. If you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos and turn that notification bell on so you can be alerted of when I drop new content. We're going to set a like goal of 20 on this video. Greatly appreciate the support. I showed this in yesterday's video, but I still think it's important to know in case you guys have not seen it. Madden Ultimate Team tweeted out a few days ago, we are retooling our launch overalls. It will deep dive into Madden 24 Ultimate Team info in the coming weeks. But for now, Ultimate Rookie Aiden Hutchinson will be the 87 overall our launch champion overall. So that means all of the champions for the new promos that start out in the game are going to be 87 overalls versus last year when they were 89s. All other 32 rookie premier player items will be 84 overalls, our launch hero overall. So core elites are usually one point lower than the launch champion. So last year they were 88s and the year before and the year before that. So I fully expect that our core elite top cards are going to be 86 overalls. I am expecting that we're going to see more of the higher core elites like 85s and 86s compared to years past. I'll go through the amount of core elites for each position from last year before I give my predictions. But again, I'm expecting we're going to see more 85s and 86s compared to the 87s and 88s that we saw last year. So here you can see the regs ratings for Madden 24. Patrick Mahomes has a 99 overall card. Joe Burrow, 95. Josh Allen, 94. Lamar Jackson, 91. Jalen Hurts, 88. Dak Prescott, 87. Justin Herbert, 87. Aaron Rodgers down to an 86. Kirk Cousins, an 84. And Tua Tagovailoa, an 83 overall. Definitely love to see Tua in the top 10. Think that is well-deserved. So in Madden Ultimate Team 23, we had 18 core elites in the game. We had 188 overall, which was Josh Allen, 287 overalls, 286s, 285s, 284s, 283s, 282s, 281s, and 380s. I am expecting we will see three 86s to start the game and the top three quarterbacks. I don't think it's really too much of a question, in my opinion. Should see 86 overalls, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and Josh Allen. Now remember, if you pre-ordered the deluxe edition of Madden 24, then you will get Josh Allen's core elite item for free to start. So that will be an 86 overall card, which is pretty much going to be your day one QB. As far as the longevity of how long he'll be useful for, well, that's going to depend on his abilities. We all know Madden Ultimate Team, especially quarterbacks, are heavily predicated on the abilities that they get and have access to, how much AP they're going to cost, if they're going to do a similar discounted ability program like what they did in Madden Ultimate Team 23. So we'll have to wait and see for more information on that. But I am predicting Mahomes, Burrow, and Josh Allen will get 86 overall cards. I think we're going to see four 84 overalls. Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, and Aaron Rodgers. I know that Dak Prescott has a higher regs overall rating than Justin Herbert and Aaron Rodgers, but that does not always completely correlate to Madden Ultimate Team. And we all know there are certain players that just get higher overalls and new cards more often than not. And I just feel like Dak Prescott is not going to get an 85 overall card to start for a core elite. Justin Herbert and Aaron Rodgers get the nod for me. But I do expect that Dak Prescott will get an 84 overall along with Kirk Cousins and Tua Tagovailoa. So these are my predictions for quarterbacks. Let's move on to running backs. Here you can see the regs ratings. No 99 overalls for running backs. I don't think there was last year either. Nick Chubb is the highest overall in regs as a 97. Christian McCaffrey a 96. Josh Jacobs a 95. Derrick Henry down to a 94 overall. Saquon Barkley a 93. Austin Eckler 89. Jonathan Taylor 89. Aaron Jones and Tony Pollard both 88 overalls. And Joe Mixon 87 overall. In Madden Ultimate Team 23, there were 24 correlate running backs. We had 188, which was Derrick Henry, 187, 186, 185, and 384. And then a ton of 80 to 83s. 
I am expecting a similar start for core elites, though, as far as the amount of 86s, 85s, and 84s for running backs. I think we'll see three 86s to start. Nick Chubb, Christian McCaffrey, and Derrick Henry will get an 86 more than likely. I know Josh Jacobs had a really good season last year. I just don't think he's going to get that highest overall in 86. I believe he will get an 85 overall, though, along with Saquon Barkley, Austin Eckler, and Jonathan Taylor. And then I believe Aaron Jones, Tony Pollard, and Joe Mixon will get 84 overalls. Now, interesting to note, I want to go back here and take a look at the speed of these running backs. So the highest speed rating on these cards is Jonathan Taylor at a 94 overall. So keep that in mind. That's a 94 speed for an 89 overall card. Tony Pollard has 93 speed on his 88 overall card. These numbers are good indications if their speed is higher than their overall so that when they do eventually get upgrades. And even at the start, I mean, Jonathan Taylor's core elite, which again, I'm predicting to be an 85 overall he may be the fastest running back in the game to start but more than likely the second or third fastest running back we'll take a look at who I believe will be the fastest running back in the game in a moment but then look at cards like Nick Chubb who has a 91 speed on his 97 overall card Derrick Henry 91 on his 94 Josh Jacobs even a 90 on his 95 cards that have speed that are pretty well under their high overall we're probably not going to see higher speeds from those cards which we would expect from cards like those since those are more tanks for running backs. So depending on your play style, something you may want to keep in mind. So again, here are my predictions for Madden Ultimate Team and what we will see from the top 10 running backs. And now I want to take a look at some potential budget beast running backs based on their speed. So here I picked these five running backs. Devin Ashane, who is a 76 overall in regs with a 95 speed. Raheem Mostert, 79 overall with a 95 speed. Jameer Gibbs, who is one of the rookie premiers. He has a 77 overall in regs with a 94 speed. Brees Hall, 82 overall with a 93 speed. And Isaiah Pacheco, 80 overall with a 93 speed. Now, these speeds to overalls, they are not exactly correlated related to Madden Ultimate Team, so keep that in mind as well. So Jameer Gibbs' 84 overall rookie premiere is not going to have 99 speed. Don't expect that. But cards that EA gives higher speed to compared to their overall should translate a little bit over to Madden Ultimate Team. So Jameer Gibbs' 84 overall regs card is probably going to have like 88 speed, 89 speed maybe. I believe that Jameer Gibbs is 84 overall rookie premier will be the fastest card in the game to start with Jonathan Taylor probably being the second fastest running back maybe Christian McCaffrey depending on how much EA boosts the speed up but definitely expect Jameer Gibbs to be the fastest running back in the game and again that is a free card that you could get if you do his rookie premier set right now in Madden Ultimate Team 23 and just keep an eye out on these cards throughout the year as they get upgrades it's going to be pretty obvious when it does happen but these cards should be some of the fastest running backs throughout the year. So those are my predictions for quarterbacks and running backs and some potential budget beast options for running backs in Madden Ultimate Team. Again, if you haven't checked out yesterday's video on the wide receiver and tight end predictions, I will pin a comment with a link down below so you guys can check that out. And tomorrow, I probably will be doing cornerbacks and safeties top 10 for each category like I did today. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you did, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.